So I was scrolling on Facebook and I seen the endorsement do this barbecue Cuban sub review. And y'all know I normally would do a voiceover, but I'm gonna let real time handle it. Okay, so it's looking like Firehouse about to be the move today for lunch. Let's get in and check it out. Alex? That's the size cup I got from Arby's. That's what a medium supposed to look like. So for the drink, you know me, I'm gonna go with the peach lemonade. I normally would go raspberry, but they do not have it. So next best thing, peach every time. Okay, so I'm coming out of Firehouse Subs. And as you see, I got the Cuban. And in there, they steam the meat. Let's see what this about. Okay, so I'm fresh out of Firehouse Subs. Got the Cuban. The drink of choice is peach lemonade. By Minute Maid. Don't taste bad. It always tastes the same. They got the uh, the machine. I probably put it in some B-roll. Here you go. Miss Vicky's Barbecue Smokehouse Chips. Let's get these a try first. See if they any good. They kettle cook. Kettle, kettle. Not bad. I'll try. Now the subs all come with a pickle. A pickle spare. But look at that. That joint don't look half bad. It don't look half bad. I didn't bring the camera out with me today, so this review is going to be chimes time style. Chime time style. Look at the Cuban. Don't buy it. I'm out. Barbecue Cuban. I keep saying Cuban. It's a barbecue Cuban. But it's not bad at all. Don't look bad, should I say. I don't know how it, how it tastes. It's good. Now, I had a Cuban at Swan Street Diner just yesterday. So that's what I'm comparing this to. And this is much better. It got the Chipotle slaw on there. The hot pickles. You see the ham and the barbecue pork with the barbecue sauce coming through. It's definitely a juicy sandwich, as you can see the drippage. It's not bad at all. I'm not about to make this a long review because this is not my camera. Simply a phone review. Look at that dripping. It's good. Oh, the the thing about this one is it's not pressed. It's not pressed, but overall it's still good. The barbecue sauce, it's like a um what we in Buffalo would call honey mustard sauce. It's like a um a watered down honey mustard sauce. Honey mustard barbecue like that. Uh Nashville barbecue, not Nashville. Memphis. Uh, yeah, yeah, you went too far. Go back there to the Jesus billboard and then take a left at Repent. Type barbecue, where it's the honey gold. But it complements the sandwich well. I'm a mess, let me clean myself. Could you hand me a napkin? All over the beard. Just crazy. Like I said, it's gonna be a quick review. It's not bad at all though. All the ingredients definitely mesh well. Now Firehouse, they just got up here in Buffalo, New York. So this is new. It's 100% way better than Subway though. All right, I cleaned the beard out. It's way better than Subway. I don't know if it's better than Jersey Mike's cause I haven't had Jersey Mike's yet. That's my specialty. <laughs> but it might be on Jersey Mike's level. But it's definitely good. They steam the meat. That's crazy to me. The pickles are spicy. And I normally don't like slaw on sandwiches. But the slaw do the sandwich justice. 
So for a Cuban barbecue, even though you can't, it's not supposed to compare this to a Cuban, I'm going to compare it and say that I like this better than a Cuban that I had. Only had one. And this is better than that. The one I had yesterday, I would have rated it a five. This right here is easily a 8.5, 8.2, I would like it if it was a little bit like, if the meat was a little hot, they steamed it, but it ain't, it don't seem like it retained none of the heat. But I give it an 8.2, nothing wrong with it. Let's see if this pickle any good. Pause, pause, pause. Is it fresh? They could have kept it. Pickle came out of damn jar if it tastes like. Well, the sandwich is good. The drink is good. Overall experience, 8.5. Would I get it again? Absolutely. Just because I'm on the phone, I'm going to say it anyway. I almost forgot to tell y'all. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at this. So in conclusion, if this is what Subway is going up against, Subway gonna have a hard time. And I see why. Everything about this sandwich screams fresh. Subway. I don't think that foot long cookie gonna cut it. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna cut it. You got to go back to the drawing board, do something else. Get a plan together. Do your paces. Do your paces.